it's Kimber with The Pinning Mama. I am um, here today to show you how to make um, a knockout design with the Silhouette Studio software um, in one very simple, easy way using the crop tool. Um, so you'll see an example of what we're going to do today. It's just the word love. It has a heart knocked into it. Um, you'll see other popular knockout designs like um, maybe it says cheer and there's like a girl cheerleader knocked out or there's um, you know, it's a football team with the mascot knocked out, that kind of thing. So there's all sorts of really cool applications for this. Um, and I'm just going to teach you the basic method to do it today. Um, so let's get started. Um, we are going to start over here. And um, I'm going to start by just typing the word love. And I am using the font. Um, it's... Babus New, I think. Right here it is, Babus New. And um, then I'm just going to bring it out a little bit, make it bigger. And then I'm going to, let's see, move the character spacing in so that my letters are as close as I can get them without actually touching, because that's going to help me um, with my design. So now that I have my letters designed. I'm going to fill them in because it's going to be easier for you to see and follow along with us. This is not a necessary step for you to do, um, but it makes it show up so much better um, when you're watching my screen. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, I'm now going to open my heart. Let's see. Let's see this heart right here because that's going to be our design we are going to knock out of these letters. Let's see. Oops. Let me try to move it just over a little bit. I always try to get, like for example in this heart, like the, you know, deep point right here of the heart, as well as the point at the bottom of the heart are kind of distinguishing features of the heart. So I always try to make sure that I get those overlapped onto um, a letter so that when we knock out the design, you will still be able to see them. Um, so I try to do that, as keep it as centered as possible, um, and balance that a little bit. Okay, so once we have the heart, which let me fill that in too so it's easier to see. That pink. Okay, we have the heart on top of love. We're going to go to our modify panel. Oh, first what we need to do before we go to the modify panel is we're going to duplicate that heart because we will need it again. Duplicate. And we want one that's exactly the same size and shape. Oh, no we don't. We want the love duplicated and we want it exactly the same size and shape. Sorry about that. It's getting late here and I am losing my mind a little bit. Okay, so what we're we doing? Duplicating love. It's very important that it's exactly the same size and shape, which is why we're using duplicate and not just typing it again. So if you forget to duplicate um, and then you get to the end and you're like, oh no, I need another one, it's going to be very hard to type it um, considering the changes in spacing and everything that we made to get it exactly how you need for this knockout design. So um, make sure to duplicate it beforehand. Now what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here, select love, we're going to hold down the shift key and select the heart so that now they're both um, selected. We're going to come to our modify panel. The modify panel is right here with the M on it. Click on it. We'll see it says modify and then we're going to select crop. You'll see that that cropped out um, everything that was not overlapping. So only the places that were overlapping are now left, um, which is what the crop button does. We're going to come and fill that back in with pink because if you do a knockout design, you're going to want a contrasting color. Um, and then we're going to move this love back over. Let's see, it's going to go somewhere like that. I'm going to right click on it and send it to the back. And then we can, oh, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Select the, oops. We're going to select the pieces of heart. It probably would have been easier to, um, group these if I would have done it right after I cropped it, which is what I usually do, but like I said, it's getting late, so I forgot. It's okay though, nothing's messed up. We just click each piece, right click, and we're going to group those together. 
Now I can use my arrow keys to kind of move it around just a little bit and see if I can get it perfectly lined up. There we go. That right there looks like it's almost perfect. I think right there. Okay, and then you see you have your knockout design. Um, so you would cut this in two pieces. You would cut the black um, out of black vinyl, and then you would take your heart right here, and you would place it separately and cut it out of pink. And then when you layered it, you would be able to layer it back on top of here, um, like the knockout design, to create that effect. Now, you can also... Um, a more advanced way to create the knockout design would be to actually cut out the black vinyl behind it so you wouldn't be layering it onto it. It would be the same thickness throughout. And I will show you that um, in a tutorial down the road when we get to the subtract feature as well. Um, if you have any questions on what you saw today, please feel free to leave them in the comments of the post or on YouTube, um, and I will try to answer them and help out as much as I can. Um, otherwise, y'all have a great day, and um, stay tuned for the next uh, video on Silhouette Studio Software. Thanks, guys.